The next one's a really weird one. Monsters fire six additional projectiles, have plus six to maximum power charges, and gain a power charge on hit. Oh god, I have to be really careful because some of this stuff could be really dangerous. I wonder how the plus six projectiles affects the porcupines, which already have a ton of projectiles when they die. Actually, wait, I'm immune to, to uh, porcupines. I have a freeze build. Forgot. Okay, well, that's not going to be very dangerous. The extra projectiles, though, from like anything that is even remotely strong will be a challenge, though. In fact, this the boss shoots a lot of projectiles, too. So with rare monsters spawning a, a duplicate of the map boss, potentially on death, that is a pretty big deal. OK, that is the map boss right there. But I have it permafrozen, so I love this uh, build so much. Being able to just have a 100% guaranteed freeze on most things is amazing. I basically just rip apart any of the Breach Lords because they don't have any protection against freeze. Is that the map boss? I think it's the map boss. Yep, it's the map boss. No! Oh, that hurt. What? That hurt so much! I'll just have to kill the map boss like eight times. I mean, I already killed 13 map bosses the last map I did, so... Having to kill this a few extra times shouldn't be a problem. The biggest concern is that this was designed uh, with the idea that the map boss specifically uses a lot of projectiles and they're dangerous ones. So I think the plus projectiles is actually supposed to make the map boss more dangerous. Because these maps aren't randomly generated. They're designed to have specific challenges in them. I have to be careful because like some of the frogs could be hiding like there could be like rarer frogs hiding in there. And if those die, then they'll spawn a map boss. <laughs> oh, God, there's a rare right there. I have to be careful. It's only a 20% chance of spawning the map boss. But I mean, if I get a map boss every five rares, it's still going to be dangerous. Should be OK. The biggest danger is that the map boss will just spawn beside me without realizing I've killed a rare. And then she'll just destroy me. Also, if I can avoid doing the Abyss, I'm going to try. Because the Abyss spawns a ton of rares. And therefore, it might spawn a ton of copies of the map boss. And that's the last thing I want. To be pretty close to the boss room now. Okay, temporal shield. Okay. Another map boss spawned. Okay, they're down. This feels more than a 20% chance for them to spawn, I have to say. I'm like worried that there's gonna be a siren behind every corner, basically. You know, let me just do, do away with the map boss. Here, like the actual intended map boss. Oh God. At least they're easier to see if I can run them around in circles around. If I can keep her frozen, it's fine. Okay. I'm very lucky that none of those frogs were rares, because otherwise I could have spawned multiple map bosses in the stupid tiny boss chamber. And I can run around in circles around one, but two is much harder to avoid. No! No, no, no! Rare Devourers, okay. Oh god, rare devourers. I forgot they move, be move with you. Probably some more down here, though. You can just barely see the frog, like, sitting in the carnage here. <laughs> nope! Nope. You. Yes, singular reliquary. I got it. I did that deathless, too. Ooh. Oh, it's a pretty cool rain, if nothing else. Not valuable, but it's pretty. It was a fun challenge, which is the more important thing. 
Hey, you got this far in the video. Thank you so much. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see uh, this content in its uncut form, we have our other channel, at Black Cat Streams, in the description. And if you want to see us live, uh, come join us on Twitch, also in the description. Thank you so much. Hope to see you in the next video.